Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's Wild Wild Wow! Hi, Alfie. Where have you been? My cousin Sophie and I did a big hike up some hills. So I wore my good walking boots. And these two walking poles helped me move up the steep slopes. Looks like you were very well prepared. Yes, but it was still such hard work. Climbing hills can be hard work, unless you're a mountain goat. A mountain goat? What's that? Mountain goats are just about the best hill climbers in the world. Wild! What does it look like? Come and I'll show you. Okay, everyone, time to take a peek through the Creature Scope. Right, Alfie, are you ready to see some amazing climbers? I sure am, Melly. <laughs> wow, this hillside looks very steep. And are those animals the mountain goats? They are. And see how easily they're able to clamber down the slopes? They must have very good balance to be able to move around like that. Because mountain goats live high in the mountains where it can be very cold, they have thick woolly coats to keep them warm in winter. And they also have some fierce looking horns. As well as a shaggy beard to help protect their faces. Where do these mountain goats live? In the high mountains of Northeast America and Western Canada. And what do they eat? They feed on plants, grass, leaves, and moss. They climb all over the rocky cliffs to find food. Wow, look at this goat. I don't know how it can even stand up in such a steep place. Mountain goats have two hard toes and soft pads on their feet. These mean they can be expert climbers when they're just a few weeks old. Cool. And they're also fantastic leapers. They can jump as far as three baseball bats joined together. That's three meters. Wild, wild, wow. Gosh, those mountain goats are really fantastic climbers. Yes, their feet have a lot of grip thanks to a thing called friction. What's friction? Friction keeps us firmly on the ground. Without it, we'd slide down it like a slippery slope. Hmm, friction sounds complicated. How about we make something to show how friction works? Sounds good, Allie. It's time to take a trip in a zippy zoomer. <laughs> Ready, everybody? Let's wow, wow, wow! Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals, adventures abound. Learning, exploring, let's seize the day. Come on, let's play! Yay! Hills to jungles and seas, up in the sky to the trees. Yeah, it's wild, wild. Okay, Allie, let's learn about this thing called friction. Right, Alfie. Here's what we'll need. Tin foil, bubble wrap, and some cloth. But all of these things have double-sided tape on the back. Hmm. Then we'll need some toy cars, a crate, and a cardboard sheet. First, we're going to take our tin foil and tape it down to our cardboard sheet. Hmm. You can help me peel off the double-sided tape. Right. Next, we'll take our bubble wrap and do the same thing. And finally, our cloth. Now, we'll take our cardboard sheet and lean it against our crate. Now, we'll need a toy car. Let's see which one of these paths the car will go down the fastest. Hmm. We can start with this one. Hmm. Whoa, it's zooming. <laughs> Easy enough. Now for the cloth. Oh. All right. Mm, a little slower. Mm. Oh. Mm. 
really slow. Now for the tin foil. Hmm, not bad. So friction is when one thing rubs against another thing and it causes some resistance. It's kind of like how it took a longer time for our car to roll down the bubble wrap. Does that make sense? Do you understand how friction works now? Much more. Thanks, Allie. Now I know why a mountain goat's hooves make it such an amazing climber. Wild, wild, wow! We've got four limbs. We're on all fours. Come C-L-I-M-B. Come C-L-I-M-B. Don't be shy. It's just a climb. We're on Are you all ready to play a game with me? Great, then see if you can guess which animal I am. I have a thick, bushy tail, cute, pointy ears, and four front teeth. I have sharp claws, which I use to get food and help me climb trees. My body is covered in fur, which is either reddy brown or gray. I'm also really good at jumping, and I love eating nuts. Can you guess what animal I am? That's right, I'm a squirrel. We've had so much fun today. We hope you have too. But before we go, we have to remind you that we always say, it's wild, wild, wow. It's wild, wild, wow.